Lieutenants, the Commanding General, Philippine Army, Lieutenant General, Roy M. Ganido, Philippine Army. Almighty eternal God, our refuge, we bestow the authority of the government of the great nation. On behalf of our exercise director, the certificate of recognition is presented to Colonel Ariel M. Reyes, Infantry Mass. Likewise, to receive the certificates in bulk for enough and one civilian. Round of applause. 24. Exercise Control Group, Camp Odonel, Capas Tarla. Like what? Round of applause. 25. S. Evans. United States Army, Commanding General, 25th Infantry Division, United States Army. Round of applause. Once again, a round of applause for our great teachers. In mass formation, are encouraged to do the same. A round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, to everyone, good afternoon. I, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our Commanding General, Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido, sir. Also with us today, the Commanding General of the 25th Infantry Division, United States Army, Major General Marcus S. Evans. Other senior officers, the Vice Commander of the Philippine Army, Major General Vincer, the Co Commander of the 7th Infantry Division, Major General Costello, sir. And all of the other senior officers, the commanders of the participating uh, units. On behalf of our exercise director, Exercise Salak 2024 and concurrently the Commander of Training and Dog Training Command, Major General Luis Rex de Bergante. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to the culmination of the Philippines United States Joint Pacific Multinational Center Philippines Sirwandas 2024. Over the past weeks, our forces have engaged in rigorous realistic training that has tested and enhanced our large-scale combat capabilities across line, virtual, and constructed environment. The success of JPMRC Philippines Zero One Does 24 is a testament of an unwavering commitment 
It has strengthened our tactical proficiency and fortified the bonds of camaraderie and cooperation between our nations, reflecting our shared commitment to regional stability and security. As we conclude this landmark exercise, let us reflect on the invaluable lessons. Our collective achievements reaffirm the strength and resilience of the Philippines-United States Alliance, preparing us for future challenges and ensuring we stand ready to face the future with confidence and determination. With that, thank you to all who have dedicated their time, energy, and expertise to make this exercise a resounding success. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to the culmination event. Thank you, Commission Pope Army, for his remarks. Distinguished guests, honored colleagues and friends, it is with great pride and a profound sense of accomplishment that I stand before you today as we mark the successful culmination of Salaklik Phase 2 of the Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center Philippines 2024. This significant milestone showcases the dedication and hard work of our joint forces. We are deeply honored to have the Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido, as our guest of honor speaker. Thank you, CGP, sir. We also extend our gratitude to the Commanding General of the 25th Infantry Division of the U.S. Army, Major General Marcos S. Evans. Thank you, Major Evans, for the friendship, camaraderie, and the invaluable learning experience your unit has shared with the seven ID personnel. Your presence here underscores the enduring bond between our nations and our shared commitment to security and peace. From May 22 to June 10, the Philippine Army and the United States Army Pacific conducted selective peace to with a primary goal of enhancing our joint and combined arms capabilities and interoperability. This exercise has been pivotal in preparing our forces to meet the challenges of today's conflict security environment. From June 1 to June 9, we engaged in regional combat training center exercise. This was more than just a training event. It was a strategic endeavor to build readiness in theater and provide campaign quality joint integrated land power ready to fight and win in the demanding jungle and archipelago environment. The personnel of the 7th Infantry Division of the Philippine Army and the 25th Infantry Division of the United States Army Pacific stood shoulder to shoulder, working tirelessly to ensure the success of this activity, of this exercise. The dedication and professionalism of the troops are a testament to our enduring alliance and the deep seated friendship and mutual respect between our divisions. These exercises exemplify the true spirit of cooperation and unity. They represent not just joint military efforts, but also the solidification of the bands that ties our armies together, particularly the 25th ID and the 7th Infantry Division as sister divisions. Through this exercise, we strengthen our capabilities, we enhance our preparedness, and most importantly, solidify the bonds that our armies together. As we conclude this phase of our joint exercise, let us carry forward the spirit of camaraderie and collaboration that has defined Salaklid Phase 2. Together, we have demonstrated that through unity and shared purpose, we can achieve exceptional results and ensure the security and prosperity of our nation. Thank you all for the dedication and ex exemplary performance. We look forward to continuing our partnership and building upon the success of this exercise. Mabuhay and aloha. Mr. Jorgelino, Mr. Jorgelino, 
Distinguished guests, it is an honor to be here today as we complete a truly historic training event between our two armies. Major General Costello, thank you for the partnership and the support over this past year. Our discussions and most importantly your insight has been invaluable in developing an operational training venue where we focus on developing our collective warfighting readiness. The support your 7th Infantry Division team has provided has been truly exceptional from here at Fort McSase to the training in the combat readiness training area. Thank you. Over the last several months, the training has been absolutely world class. The ability to work alongside your division staff and soldiers has made us all better war fighters. It's increased our lethality. It's developed cohesive teams between our two armies and forged relationships that will continue to grow and prosper for generations to come. For over three months, the soldiers and leaders from the Philippine Army and U.S. Army have refined planning processes, participated in individual training, and we culminated with the first fully instrumented Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center here in the Philippines at Fort McSaysay. Over the last 10 days, these teams have shared hardships from the weather, the terrain, and a relentless opposing force comprised of soldiers from the United States Army and scout rangers from the Philippine Army. This was exceptional training for us all. We have acted, we have learned, and we continue to adapt. We held iterative actor action reviews on a daily basis and got 1% better each and every day. Thank you all for this opportunity to serve alongside your incredible Army. We look forward to building on this training and continue, continuing to advance our overall readiness and partnerships. Tropic Lightning, and this we will defend. To God be all the glory mm -hmm. and my profound gratitude to the Almighty for his blessing of opportunity. Finally, one of my command aspiration has been achieved. That is, to have a more realistic training with our best buddy, the United States Army. Before I go further, allow me to acknowledge the people who made this happen. From the Philippine Army, my Vice Commander, Major General Leo Gilid, The commander of the 7th Infantry Division, Major General Andrew Costello. And the commander of the Training Dockings Command, Major General Bergante, represented by Rear General Dan Benavides. And to our U.S. counterparts, and I'm sure the then General Charlie Finn envy his experience right now because he used to be the commander of 25th ID, and he also had this Palikata experience that Major General Marcus has ever experienced better than General Flynn. <laughs> and to our colleagues in the U.S. Army, other commanders in present, a group commander, can you give Kikas Kenya? Because... No! As I said earlier, this is an accomplishment of my command aspiration when I took over the Philippine Army last year. Thus, first and foremost, allow me to express my utmost appreciation for the invitation to attend this culminating activity of an intensive period of training and cooperation between our forces. This training exercise is the realization of our shared belief in the importance of training. It serves as a way to enhance our joint readiness and strengthen our cooperation, allowing us to function more effectively in emerging situations as allies. Moreover, as a Philippine Army ship, focus to territorial defense. Training exercises like this remain a high relevance. Through this, our soldiers can be trained for more complex 
and realistic scenarios, large-scale movement, and sustainment. It tests and evaluates the current capabilities of our forces. With all these, the Philippine Army is fully committed to adopting and preparing for these challenges. Apart from training, we find it necessary to give importance to mobilization and sustainment. As dictated by the current security environment, our ability to mobilize and sustain a large number of force is crucial to remain true to our sworn mandate. To training exercises like this, we enhance the knowledge and skill of our troops, thereby improving the capabilities of our units. The exchange of expertise during these exercises enhances the interoperability of our forces and strengthens our defense relations. I thank the United States Army Pacific for the continued support in the Philippine Army's capability development and capacity building through education and training. The replication of this exercise in our country fortifies our military partnership in pursuit of adopting and responding to the ever-evolving and complex security landscape. To the commanders and training audience from both armies, our unwavering commitment and hard work to participate and upstream have been the driving force behind this exercise. May the bonds of cooperation be forged, continue to grow stronger, while carrying forward the learnings and skills acquired as we strive for a more stable and secure future. Thank you and congratulations once again to all that in all things God may be glorified. Wise and inspiring words from the commanding general, Philippine Army. Thank you, Commander General, for being served.